It's what we were, as I said, born into show business and that it never really occurred to us to start any other business at the time. And uh, it's worked out quite well for us. We've, we've had a good life and out of it and that. And uh, it's not just a job, as you know, it's a way of life, what we do, you know. Some people might think that was, oh, that was a tough way of life for kids or that. But we can only remember back and think we really had a great childhood in Ireland, you know. I was 24 and he was 25 and we got married. So um, we decided then that we wanted to do our own thing. We were kind of independent people, so we wanted to do our own thing. So we started from there. Uh, when I was a kid, we, we never stopped. We were on the road 12 months of the year them times. There was no home base or anything them times. We just kept moving all the time. A few years back when Ireland and that was booming, we'd be on the road for nine months of the year. We could set up anywhere, you know, we could. But uh, we noticed a change when the boom time went. Uh, people were more agreeable to maybe rent a place to you for a weekend because there wasn't some money off you, you know, as simple as that. When, when we're on the road, there's no socialising, there, there isn't anything. You can be, come a little bit isolated. Hmm. This is my life, this is what I do, you know. It's addictive, and it is, yeah, because um, in the, this last few years now when things got quiet in Ireland, Jeannie, I said it's possibly 30% of the people that were in this business, like myself, they're gone, they, they got out of it. But myself and my wife, we, we, we are one of this fun fair, myself and my wife, and we're not giver-uppers anyhow. We're definitely not giver-uppers. Just in Ireland in general, trying to run any small business at the moment is just getting harder and harder. It's like they're, they're including us in a one-size-fits-all. For most small businesses, not just ours, they're unique circumstances. They're not being taken into consideration. And uh, I think that's wrong, because a lot of people won't survive because of that, you know? We've, we've gone to areas where like, there's like 30 people gone. You know, 30 young people gone out of a very small population. And as well as that, the ones that are left behind, they're nearly in a, a little bit of a depression because all their friends and their buddies are gone. Never mind their family members missing them, you know. Even if they weren't coming to the fair, they were working and they were still parts of the community. So they brought their younger sisters or brothers. That sense of, of community is actually gone. The country is changing, Ireland is, is changing very slightly at the moment. People are getting a little bit more positive and happier. We have loads of good days. When, when, the, when the sun shines, we're happy normally anyhow, you know. And uh, it's just what we like to do. We, we wouldn't be happy not doing it either, you know. Sometimes we think to ourselves, we just wish we were finished doing this, but we know in our heart and soul if we were sitting at home, it wouldn't be for us either, you know. I'd like if maybe we just owned one thing and we went with other people then so we could kind of engage with the social side of things as well. You know, it's nice to meet different people, but that's for the future. That's for the future. We, we have changed and we've adapted uh, the way we run our fair uh, in the last few years to try and keep going. So we reckon we've come through the last worst years that hopefully we'll experience in Ireland. So we reckon we're, we're, we've, we have a chance. We're kind of at the top of the hill now and we're head, ready to start rolling down the other side, hopefully. But we, I, I think we're stubborn people. We're pretty stubborn. <laughs>